Okay, the title of this video on YouTube is called, and it's, it's a pathetic title, it's called Why White Women Like Black Men. That's what it's called, but even though the, ma the majority of white women in this world don't like black men, right? It's only a small percentage, right? And I'll get to that in more detail in a minute, right? But this video, this woman here looks about 40, maybe, and that's her boyfriend there. Six foot four inch basketball player. And that's why she's with him, because he's six foot four and he's a basketball, basketball player. Now in this video, she explains how she's never met a man who's average height, because most men are average height here. Yeah? She's never met a man that's average height and that's, has everything. Except for, obviously, the height that she requires. Which is bullshit, right? She's, she would have met them, she just ignored them, that's all. She just ignored them all. Because she only goes for men that are tall. That's what she says in this video. She only goes for men that are... Uh, his height, because that's her boyfriend there, six foot four, upwards, right? And she says she prefers black men. She's been with white men before, and that's because she prefers black men. Now, that is false, actually, because she doesn't prefer black men. She prefers tall black men, right? She says when, she, when she's in a room full of black men or in a place full of black men, she feels a certain way. Like, she has certain vibes, she feels, compared to non-black men. And he asks, why is that? Is it because you notice them more? Is it because what they say, how they act, what, what is it? And she says, maybe it's just the energy. But what if they're all small though? What if they're all six foot under? Will she feel that same way? Because to me, even though she's with a black man there, I still think it's kind of racist because why are you feeling a certain type of way? Unless it's prejudice, right? For example, one time, me and my friend here, who was white, we was walking, this was years ago, we was walking down the street, right? And this girl was coming towards us, yeah, she's white. And I noticed she looked at me more than she looked at him. She didn't look at him at all, actually. She looked at me as if she was scared. And is that anything but racism? Of course it is. She could have slept with dozens of black men in her life. It was still racist for her to look at me that way because she was scared. And this is probably what she goes through as well. She's probably, when she goes in a room full of black men, she's probably frightened more than anything else. Yeah? Because she's not going to be attracted to all of them, especially if they're under six foot four. <laughs> I mean, she's five foot seven, yeah? So if she, she comes across a man, if she was single, she came across a man that was six foot, six foot one, even though that's tall, right? That wouldn't be good enough for her, even though they're taller than her by a clear distance. Six foot one, six foot two, no, no. You have to be six foot four, six foot five, six foot six, six foot seven, six foot eight, and so on, yeah? And I'm thinking to myself, what is she bringing to the table apart from looks? Because, yeah, she looks attractive, right? But what else has she got? Is her hygiene good? Is her pussy tight? You know what I mean? Some things like that. Yeah. Does she suck? Does she do all the pornographic shit, right? Does she do all that? What does she bring to the table? A man has to be this, a man has to be that. What does she bring? You see, women have all these requirements that a man should have. Unrealistic requirements. Because women, that's... different. The difference between men and women, right? Is that men say they like shorter women, yeah. Men, women say they like taller men. Which is normal, but the difference is, right? I've never heard a man say that she must be between... Four foot eight and five foot two. I never heard that. All I hear is they're like shorter women or women shorter than them. Not a specific bracket, right? But with women, it's always a specific bracket. It's it's always giant tall, like six foot four upwards. Yeah. Like a woman could be her size, five foot seven, five foot three, five foot two, five foot five foot five, whatever, right? And if he's six foot, let's say between five ten and six foot two. That's not good enough, even though that height still towers over her. It still won't be good enough. <laughs> this is the difference between men and women. Men don't have a bracket, right? Yeah, there's men that look like, look like women that are taller than maybe five foot eight, maybe. Right? But that's kind of normal, though. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean they get ruled out. I, I never heard a man say they would definitely reject a woman that's shorter than them, but let's say let's say the man's six foot, right? And she's five foot eight, he'd reject her. I've never heard that, really. 
I heard them say they look like taller than them, which is normal, right? But yeah, this is the difference difference between men and women, right? Especially women with looks, like her, right? These requirements. But what do they bring themselves? Now, if that woman looked like these women here, yeah, would they have the same requirements? No, they wouldn't. No. And it's only a specific type of man that accepts these type of women, right? You never see any other race with these type of women, right? When I say another race of man, decent looking type of men, yeah, de decent looking men, usually women that look like this should have men that look similar, right? But they always choose these type of men because these type of men take them. Because I can guarantee you these men are not giant tall, right? They're not basketball players, they're not famous celebrities. They probably don't have loads of money. That's why these are together. These type of women and those type of men, they're together because if anything, right, women like that are punching above the weight. I don't really like using that term, but sometimes you have to because there's no reason why men that look like them should be with women that look like them. There's no match there. You wouldn't see a mixed race looking guy with women like these. You won't see a good looking Asian man with women like these. But you'd see a dark skinned man with these women, right? You would, because if you're a dark skinned black man and you're not tall, you're not rich, these are what's on offer. Yeah, these are what desire you. These are what make try to make effort to get you. These type of women will go all out to get you, yeah? And it's up to the man to accept or refuse. And as it happens, there are men that accept it. And put race aside, right? I'm on about the woman now, whether she's white, black, Asian, whatever, right? Women that are attractive as her, the only way they like black men is if, like, like I said before, the height thing, the money thing, or, in fact, do you know if a black, a dark skinned black boy is young, like, say, between the age of 16 and, let's say, 16 and 23 or something, right? They've got more chance, right? Because, they're at school, college, university, right? Where in physical contact with people every single day, yeah? especially girls, right? And there's more chance of them because them women, are, them girls are not really experienced. They want to try out stuff. They want to throw the box around, which means their private parts, yeah? Men and women do that. Even at all ages, yeah? Especially young ones, right? So they get to experience life, right? When they're a bit older and they've experienced life, they've experienced bad guys, they've had bad experiences, the they're different, women are different when they get older because of their experiences, yeah? The younger girls, like school age to early 20s, they want to explore more than older women. They've got more ambition, right? Because they haven't experienced anything yet. So they will more likely to choose black, especially if it's dark, more likely, right? When they get older, they think otherwise. I mean, I remember, I remember when I was 16 or 17, right? I was at college and this girl in my class, right, she, she was my age, she was white, blonde haired, blue eyes, and she took a liking to me, and she showed it, and yeah, things happened, whatever, and then I'm thinking to myself, if this was now, I mean, I don't know where she is now, this was years ago, right, 20 years ago, right, so if she's married or single, whatever, right, if she's single now, she would never approach a guy like she did me, she would never, she, she, if I met her now, I didn't know who she was, right? She wouldn't approach me like that because of her experiences in life. <laughs> when she was younger, teenager, very little experience, it's different. I noticed that, how times have changed anyway because of social media and stuff. Because, but anyway, back then, this was before internet and mobile phones and shit, right? People, it was easy to talk to pe other people, right? Easier, a lot easier than it is today. But now, like for the ages I've, talk, I've just mentioned, between 16 and early 20s, right, it's still easier for them today, even though these social media, it's still easier for them because they're in close contact with each other every day. They can get their aura, you know, they're together. They can get the vibe off each other. You can't do that online. You just can't. 
right? So it's easy for, say, an attractive young woman, young girl, to pick, especially if he's black. It's easier for her to do that because she hasn't experienced anything yet, right? She doesn't know, really know any better, right? When she gets older, she realizes, well, in her head, I'm not saying this is true, that, ooh, I don't know about black guys, black guys, this, black guys, that, the hearsay and all that, and the news and all the bad press what black guys get. When she gets older, she'll take that in and think, you know what, I'm gonna stay away from these guys. I'm not saying they all think like that, but a lot of them do. That's why you see more younger black guys with attractive girls than older ones. But anytime you do see, especially if she's 30 plus, right? With an attractive, dark-skinned black guy, he's usually a gangster. He's really, really popular. He's got a roadman attitude, right? Roadman attitude, yeah? He plays sports as a rapper, even if he's low budget, yeah? I mean, not to mention the high budget ones. Oh, he must be six foot five, right? Like this woman displays all the traits modern day women have of all races, not just white, not just black, all races, right? Especially black and white women, they're the Western world. This is how they act. And at the same time, they bring very little to the table themselves, right? If you've got these requirements and you're a woman and you're attractive and you've got high, high standards, what are your standards like? What, what do you offer him? A lot of women can't answer that question. See, I watch a lot of Kevin Samuels videos, right? And he asks women, what do you offer him? Or what does a man of high value want in a woman? They cannot answer the question. They just can't because they're stuck. They, they focus more on what they want more than what the man wants. And that's a problem with women today. It's, it's true. I mean, think about it. There's a reason why this woman here who looks on the surface attractive, why she's like 40 year old, she's about 40 or something like that, single, no kids, and probably will never have a husband. Like, that's a boyfriend there. Whether they'll be together forever, it's unlikely, but you never know. But there's a reason why she's 40 and single. There's a reason. Or should I say 40, childless and marriedless. Like with men, black men, it's different because Black men, even black women as well, they're the most single people on earth. They are. They're the most marriedless people on earth. The most single people, especially black men. They're the most single people on earth. And there's a reason for that. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants us. It's as simple as that. Nobody. It's very rare. And it's due to confusion and self-hate and all that anyway. But nobody wants black men. Unless you've got something.